Hey, it's Juhar. Welcome back to my channel, to the Witchy Reader. So I'm going to do the WIP tag. WIP stands for Work in Progress, for those of you did that did not know that. And I don't think there's that many questions. I think there's 10. Yeah, I was right. There's 10. 10 questions. Um, and it's just kind of to give a little insight on whatever WIP you are currently working on. And beauty of some of these author tube tags that I've seen is that you can do them several times with each WIP you have. I'm pretty, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I actually did this tag once before with my Jazz and Press series, but I'm no longer working on that because it is over. Besides, uh, I finally finished it, all published except for the prequel, which I hope to publish by the end of the year. We'll see how that goes. Um, but I did, uh, uh, finish writing one book. I'm still I'm st I'm still technically working on it because I have to edit it, so it's still technically a WIP until it is published and done. But that's what I'm going to do for this one, and I'll probably do this one again with one of my other books, depending on which one I end up working on the most next. Um, right now, that's this one series I was actually just working on, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, so this one is the I put the. Um, cover of the book which I made myself and I'm very proud of it on the thumbnail uh, so you could see uh, what the cover looks like there and uh, it's called the curses light um, and it's basically about this town that's cursed and this prophecy and I'll get more into it once I read the questions um, I'll give you a little insight on what it's like so far and I do plan on editing it soon so I'm gonna see if I can publish it by the end of the uh, month we'll see number one what is the working title of your book I just told you the curse is light so um, uh, that's the actual title I'm not planning on changing it I really I mean that wasn't the original title it was originally the ageless curse but um, I I had actually, before I got this laptop, or my first laptop, the one I had before this one, I wrote a bunch of stories down before I started working on my Jasmine Press series. I had started other series and wrote them down on paper, journals and stuff. Um, and so I decided to revisit some of those stories. I started a couple years ago, and get and um, if I still am into them and still want to work on them and get them published eventually, put them in my laptop, but I did, but I'm, since they are a couple years old, I am finding things I want to change, and sometimes not even change, like the one I'm currently doing, this is the last one I need to transfer to my laptop, um, I'm not even really changing much of this, I think, I'm mostly, I'm just adding a lot of things, um, but with the curse slides, I did change a lot of things, including the details about the curse, which is why I had to change the title because the ageless curse no longer longer made sense. Um, and I was trying to figure out. And then um, there's this, I can't tell you why I decided on the curse slide because that is a huge spoiler for the end of the first book. It it will be a duology. So yeah, if you end up reading my book, and I hope you do, um, you'll find out the full you'll. Exp You'll understand the title by the end of the book. Number th two. I almost said three. No, I'm on two. Where did the idea of the book come from? I don't actually remember. Like I said, I actually started this a couple years ago before I stopped because I got really invested in my Jasmine Press series. And then it's a couple years la later and I'm revisiting it. And honestly, I can never... I can never really remember where my stories come from. It's just like, I mean, sometimes I can, but a lot of times I just come up with this idea and I have a lot of inspiration, a lot of imagination. So I just come up with these ideas and they start out as this little small seed and they just grow into this huge thing. So yeah. Number three. What genre does your book fall under? Fantasy. I always write fantasy. Every one of my books will always be fantasy. Fantasy is my jam. Fantasy is my love. So that is what I write, and that is mostly what I read as well. Number four. Which actors would you choose to play in a movie rend rendition of your book? I don't know. I don't really think of that all too much. Sometimes I just think of a character I think fits my book really well. Um... But a lot of times I don't really think that much 
of who I, I mean, I can picture them in my mind, but I can't really think of an actress or actor that I want to play my characters. Um, so I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I think... I think either Lucy Hale or jo Jordana Brewster would be really nice as playing uh, Skylar, who's one of my MCs. My MCs are Skylar and Will. Um, but yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, I just like them. <laughs> Number five. What is a one-sentence synopsis of your book? One-sentence synopsis. Um... Huh. Okay. When Will... No. How about... When a stranger comes into town, Skylar finds out her theories about the c town being cursed may not just be theories after all. There! I did it. That wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Um... What am I on now? Six. Will you be traditionally published or self-published? Self-published, I'm already self-published um, for my Judson Press series, and I plan on self-publishing all of them. I like to have full creative freedom. I like to have the final say and the only say in what happens in my books and all the scenes and the writing of it and uh, the cover and the title and the characters. I like it to be 100% my story. And with a publisher, I mean, traditionally published is still a great way of doing it. And it's help, and it's can, and it like, you don't have to market it to yourself, and it'll be easier to find it in bookstores and stuff. But I just prefer self publishing for myself. Number, what am I on? Seven? How long did it take you to complete the first draft? Not that long. I mean, technically, I had already started it, but like I said, I changed a lot of it for um when I uh wrote wrote it down down on my laptop, and um it didn't take that long at all. When I told people I was done writing it, they were like, "Already? Didn't you just start that?" But yeah, I just I had a lot. I got really when I get very invested and since and it's also easier for me than some other writers because I don't have kids I'm not married um so I can focus most of my energy on my books and when I get very invested into one of my stories I don't want to stop um but yeah Let's see what am I on eight what other books do you compare your books to? Um, I don't. I know when I first told my mom about this, um, she compared it to Once Upon a Time because, and Once Upon a Time does have a few books as well, but because of the whole Cursed Town thing. But I don't know. I don't really compare it to another book. Hmm. Number nine, who or what inspired you to write this book? Um, like I said, I don't remember what inspired me. A lot of times, a lot of times it's not even something that inspires me. I just have all these fantasy ideas and they just come to me, whether it's coming to me as a character or as an idea or just like a small idea or but like with Jasmine Perez, what inspired me to write that was a scene that doesn't even happen until book two. So I had to write around that scene, but that scene was what I thought of. With this one, I don't remember <laughs> what it really inspired me to write it. I just, I don't know. I just came up with an idea of a cursed town and I just went with it. That's how most of my books turn out to be like, so. Um, number 10, right? What else about your book might pique people's interest? Well, this is Friends to Lovers. I know that's pretty popular. Um, there's a redemption arc. I know a lot of people like redemption arcs, and I am using inspiration for my redemption arc. Uh, I'm using res la, 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 la. I'm using inspiration from Zuko's redemption arc on Avatar: Last Airbender because he did have the best redemption arc ever. So I'm using inspiration out of that to for this one redemption arc. Um, so. 
should definitely check that out. Um, and there's plenty of LGBTQ rep and other races as well, so it's diverse. Um, I know there is, what is there? There's um, two gay characters, two lesbians, one of my MCs is bisexual and a is um no she's an asexual homo or she's an asexual bi romantic and then one of the lesbians is an asexual homo romantic so there's asexual representation representation as well because I'm making it my personal mission besides my jazz and press series because I didn't really find out about my asexuality until in the middle of that series and I didn't want to just throw it in I wanted it to be a part of the characters and a part of the storyline. Because I just feel like asexuality doesn't get any representation like at all. And I feel like it's very, very important. So I'm making it my personal mission to make every book I write from now on. To have at least one, if not more, asexual characters. Um, and when I when I was working on this book again, I decided to make one of my MCs, uh, Skylar, um, asexual. And she also ended up becoming bi-romantic. I, I did not intend for her to being to girls and boys but she had a mind of her own and decided no I don't want to like just boys I want to like girls as well so I was like okay you go Skylar <laughs> but um I was originally just gonna have her be the only asexual character but then I ended up having her ex-girlfriend Andrea be asexual as well so yeah um Andrea is also mixed skin and then Skylar's brother Logan, who's gay, gets engaged to his long-term boyfriend, David, who's black. So, pl plenty of diversity. But, um... So, yeah, that is the WIP tag. Please like and subscribe and comment your answers, or you can do this tag, and I would love to watch it. I do, I'm going to do two tags, and, but I do tag everyone else as well. I'm tagging Robin as from the book Wormhole and Claire from Claire D. So... Uh, I can't wait to see your videos if you do this, and I will talk to you guys later.